was a place, a garden for the young To laugh and dance and safety among The shimmering light and the shade of the trees Steal a bite and paradise lost With darkened hearts we didn't count the cars Forgot all we left behind Life picks up speed before you know We hold on for dear life all oh, along Amen. All right. Am I good? Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah. All right. Glory, glory to God. So I'm going to keep preaching the gospel here. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You guys, they, they wrote what the Roman Catholic Church did in history... It's not Christianity. I want you to take note to the lyrics of this music playing over here. It's breeding the same kind of hatred that it's whining about. You guys, Jesus, they're saying F the church, F the government, F Canada, put a curse on Canada. That's witchcraft, it's a lie. It's, it's painting all of Christianity with the broad stroke. You guys, Jesus Christ is not responsible for the children. That were murdered. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Okay? So, I understand that the natives were hurt over history. Right? But that was not Jesus Christ. That was the Roman Catholic Church. And the Roman Catholic Church is responsible for all kinds of wickedness. If you guys, if you guys want to come talk, the mic's open. I see. Yeah, come over. I'll, I'll, I will have a, a charitable conversation. Amen. But the Roman Catholic Church is the one responsible. You want to come chat? No. Nah. You want to come talk? So, the Roman Catholic Church is the church responsible, the church, quote unquote church responsible, for murdering the children. That's not the born again church of Jesus Christ. The born again church of Jesus Christ does not murder children. The Bible says if you want to if you want to be a Christian, you have to turn from sin. So do you see how hypocritical this is? They're saying F the church, saying F the government and the church and put a curse on Canada. Do you see how hypocritical this is? Breeding hatred towards another human being. They're complaining about the, how the natives were hurt. And then they're breeding hatred against the Christians. Do you understand? Right? So Jesus Christ taught to love all people. Jesus Christ said to love your neighbor. Jesus Christ said the two most important commands are to love God and to love your neighbor. Not to breed, not to say F the church, not to say F the natives, not to say F the Ava Asians, not to say F the white people, to love all people. So this is a hypocritical movement. The Every Child Matters movement paints a broad brush of all of Christianity saying all of Christianity murdered the native children. And yes, it was an atrocity. Yes, it was wicked. The Roman Catholic Church has done all kinds of wicked stuff in history. They had the Crusades. They had the Inquisitions. They did. They they kept. Come over and talk. If you if you think you, if you're so wise and so smart, why don't you come talk? See, this guy's a coward. He's too scared to come talk. You're a coward because you won't come up and talk. Glory to God, you guys. So Amen. the born again body of Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, if you cause one of these little children to fall into sin, it would be better if you had a millstone tied around your neck than to be cast into a lake. Right? So Jesus Christ protects the children. The born again body of Christ, the true body of Christ, is not responsible for what happened to the natives. The born-again body of Christ has nothing to do with the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church is the, church, is the group responsible for murdering the children. But you guys say that that's all Christianity, but you fail to decipher between the born-again body of Christ and the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church doesn't even believe in being born again. They say if you're dunked in water, you're born again. It's not the case. 
If you get dunked in water and your heart isn't changed, it's worthless. It's worthless. The Roman Catholic Church is a lie. It's a fallacy. It teaches idolatry. It teaches to worship the saints and to worship Mary. The Bible says there's one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. Not the priests, not the Pope, not Mary, not the saints. Jesus Christ said, I am the way. Preach it. So don't blame the body of Christ for what happened in the Every Child Matters movement. Don't blame the born-again body of Christ for what the whack Roman Catholic Church did. Amen. Don't blame the body of Christ for the Inquisitions. Don't blame the body of Christ for the Crusades. Jesus said, if you cause one of these little children to stumble, it would be better if you tied a millstone around your neck and you were cast into a lake. On the other hand, you who teach your children to do drugs, you who teach your children to be pedophiles and LGBTQ perverts, you who, te you who teach your children to hate God, you are the ones who are actually murdering children. Amen. You are the ones who are going to be cast into a lake. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess Amen. that Jesus Christ is Lord, you guys. Jesus made a way for us to be saved. Jesus Christ protected children. You guys want to come down here and bump your garbage rap music? The curse is the church. Go ahead. I'm not afraid of freedom of speech, you guys. I'm not afraid of freedom of speech. God loves the natives just like God loves the blacks and the Asians and the whites and every single one of us. So stop crying about what happened in history because everybody has been oppressed. The Amen. black people were enslaved. The natives were murdered. The Asians were slain by Mao. The white people are, we have all kinds of messed up stuff going on. We got Justin Trudeau for a prime minister. Amen. Man, like Amen. everybody has suffered, you Amen. guys. And that's what the Bible says. In this life, you will have trials and sorrows. Amen. But take heart, for I have overcome the world, says Jesus Christ. So every one of you that can hear me, Jesus made a way for you to be saved. God loves you. Don't listen Amen. to the propaganda of movements like the Every Child Matters movement. Don't listen to the whack priests. Come talk if you want. And why? Why? How dare I say what? Yeah. We're not tell me, Catholics. why don't you tell me? Genocide of rape, all the way from the northern part of the Mesite to the tip of Tierra del Fuego. If, if there is a hell, if there is a heaven, the nuns will have to beg for forgiveness from those children. Preach. See, she we knows the Roman you. Catholic Church is whack. So do I. So everybody here knows now that the Roman Catholic Church is whack. Amen. And so do I. Amen. And so do I. And so does every street preacher in southern BC. Amen. We, don't, we are not part of the Roman Catholic Church, so get a grip, people. Get a grip. I have videos on my YouTube channel of person after person after person coming up and saying, what about the Every Child Matters movement? What about the Roman Catholic Church? Jesus said you must be born again. Because, because... Why are you discouraging the movement? Because it, paint, because it paints a broad brush and makes everybody hate all Christians. And Jesus Christ, Jesus, yeah, okay, well, Jesus Christ said you must be born again. Bless the are Lord Almighty, man. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm not the one. Okay. Bless, bless God the Father, Son, and Spirit, man. What? Death. You are victimizing them even in death. How dare you? How dare I what? That's pretty self-righteous of you. the movement... Is you're disparaging the movement. You don't think I am because because I come down. This is listen, listen. So this is a free country with freedom of speech, and and I come down here and multiple people like you come up and say I'm evil. You tell me to shut up. You said shut the f up. Yes, you did, right? So it's all on video. She came up and started cussing me out. Okay, this movement causes people to hate Christianity. I love the natives. I love the natives. God loves the natives. Amen, he does. God loves the black people. God loves the Asians. Amen. The Bible says that God so loved the How world, every you, race, man. nation, tribe, and tongue, that you can be saved. That you can be saved. But you guys, when you... When, when you... I just have been telling he them for hours. He literally just did. Calm down. What, what do you want to say? Tell them to their face that their children don't matter. 
Tell that to their. I didn't say that. I said it was the Roman Catholic Church. Nice straw man argument. You're disparaging them. Right. The movement makes confuses people. That makes every yes. It makes people think that everybody is a Roman Catholic. I have nothing to do with the Roman Catholic Church, you guys. This woman is confused. Okay. Amen. You're you're right. Free speech. So so the Bible says that if you turn from sin and make Jesus Lord and believe the gospel, you can be saved. When people get angry and upset like this, it's because they they can't process. They don't understand the difference between the Roman Catholic Church and the born again body of Christ, you guys. So. So the Bible says this. I I am not the authority, but God is. The Bible, the Bible, section two B. This girl wants to know the charter. Section two B says you have freedom of speech. I also know what is the Bible, so I'm not worried about it. Come up and talk. Come up and talk. If you can stay calm, come up and talk. All right, all right. So glory to God. So people tend to get worked up when we talk about this. I'm not afraid of freedom of speech, you guys. The born-again body of Christ is not the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church teaches idolatry. They teach you to worship Mary. They're responsible for the Crusades. They're responsible for the Inquisitions. They're responsible for raping and murdering children. And what I'm telling you guys is that the born-again body of Christ has nothing to do with that. Because Jesus Christ said, Jesus Christ said, don't, he said, let the little children come unto me. And he said, if anybody causes one of these little ones to stumble, there should be a millstone tied around their neck and cast into the lake. Right? So Jesus Christ loves the children. Yes, it was an atrocity what happened to the Every Child Matters movement, that, that stuff in history. I'm done with you. Keep walking. If you're going to cry and get mad and, and get in my face, keep walking. Okay. Glory to God. So the Bible says if blood, you confess man. with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, see how out of control this woman is? When people God are demonized you. and they're scared of the truth, they can't handle the truth. Yes, you are, because you can't calm down. Glory to God. So the Bible says this. You guys get upset at truth. I, have, I don't get mad when the LGBTQ comes down here and waves their flag. And tries to tries to pedophilia on our children and push pedophilia on our children. I don't get mad about the Every Child Matters movement. I don't get mad about Islam. I I'm not afraid of freedom of speech, you guys. Because the truth will always win in the end. The truth will always win in the end. Right? And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible says that God so loved the world. So much that he sent his son to die that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. What's up? Go ahead. You've been yelling at me all day. Just say what you ought to say. I'll give you the mic. Yeah, cool. Can I, can I hold no, it? No, no, no. People trash my gear all the time. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Look, I grew up uh, raised to believe in Jesus and the Bible, raised to believe in the church. Me too. Okay, fair enough. So, you believed in it all your life. No. I fell into drugs and addiction and violence and all that stuff. And, and, and during that period, you, sto- you stopped believing? Like you didn't believe in it? or Like, I, I was not, that's the thing is, I was never born again. Okay, well, that's not my point. My point? That is the point, though. Is I, what I kind of knew about God when I was younger. Okay, so that's not my point. My point is... I was raised in the church. I got to a point where I became an adult with a brain. And I started realizing that there was zero actual evidence for any of this stuff. What what do you believe? Well, I stopped believing in that. So you say there's zero evidence for that, but what do you believe? Like, how did we... Here's the thing. The definition of religion is how did we get here? Why are we here? And what happens when we die? So what do you believe? Okay, look. Let me talk and stop trying to direct the conversation where you want it. Let me direct it where I want it, okay? Okay, thanks. So, yeah, yeah. So, I stopped believing. You're never going to convince me to believe again. And I'm never going to convince you to not believe. Amen. That's not going to happen. Amen. But I've read the Bible. And having read the Bible... I would never come out here 
with the message that you're coming out with. Like thinking of reading the Bible and then becoming obsessed with things like homosexuality and pedophilia. This isn't this isn't the message that anyone who reads the Bible with a neutral and open mind is coming away with. So that hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna no, I'm no, gonna, no, I'm no. gonna get in here for a second. A listen, no, listen. Go, no, because no, this is gonna was. be a two-way conversation. Go, 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 I'm gonna go, say something. You gotta let me oh, yeah. finish, motherfucker. I'll the Bible. Yeah, go ahead, man. Amen. Yeah, just come let on. Me please finish yeah. what I have to no, say. No, you're not gonna do face. anything. Man. Stop spinning my face. Okay. I'm gonna say one thing and then yeah. I'll let you finish. The Bible warns. You guys, God loves all people, and so do I. The Bible warns that homosexuals will not go to heaven. And I am extremely disturbed by pedophilia being pushed on our children. Kids that are not even old enough to drive or old Man, enough to buy agenda. booze are allowed to, to butcher their genitals, Amen. and it's pushed on them in that's elementary lie. school. That's, that's, the, that's truth. the truth. The LGBTQ movement is a satanic agenda pushed on our children, and it's disturbing. And that's why the Bible says that... that all right, so that, I'm going to... Yeah, go ahead. So the Bible speaks against it. And secondly, the Bible says to preach the gospel to all nations. And that's why I'm here, to call you to the family of God. God because God loves you and I love you and you can be born again and saved. All right? Okay. So that's why I'm here. And, Amen. And the Bible says a lot of things. It says things. I'll give you another couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. Are you finished? Okay. The Bible says a lot of things. It says things about the way that women can be treated. Um, it says to love your Such wife like lo love your wife like like Are you let yeah. Me talk so, yeah. Or One what? topic at a time. Okay. The Bible says to love your wife like Jesus Christ loves the church, which is like okay. infinite. Like, so, I, so that's I, your your comp sentence, All right, go ahead. Sentence to say. Here's my final sentence. Go ahead. You're not here to preach the Bible or the Word of God. You're here to wage a culture war, and you're a narcissist. Okay. Thanks. God bless you. That's called The Bible projection. says if you turn from sin and make Jesus... No, I'm done with you. The Bible says if you turn from sin and make Jesus Lord and believe the gospel, you guys can be saved. Every single one of you can be reconciled back to a God who loves you. Every single one of you. Hallelujah. The Bible says if you turn from sin and get baptized, repent. you'll receive the Holy Spirit. You you guys, every one of us can be saved. Every single one of us can be saved. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. And this is the, the Bible, this is the purpose of your life, you guys, is to know the one true God. It's to know the one true God. And this is what I challenge every single one of you today. Seek God while he may be found. The Bible says if you seek him, you will find him. You will find him. And I challenge every one of you to seek the Lord today. He loves you. He died for you. Amen. He has a plan and a purpose for you. His God's love for you is so strong, you can't even fathom it. Don't Amen. sit down in here and be angry and depressed and addicted when Jesus Christ Amen. died so you can be free. God Jesus is love. Christ died so you can be free. It's going to be all right. Turn around and let back in the light. Enjoy.